Today in Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Primo's Gen 3 Trigger Stick Monopod. Years ago when I started turkey hunting I figured out really quickly that I was not going to be able to comfortably sit for a very long time holding my shotgun up on my knee. I used this just short simple shooting stick for a season and I really enjoyed it but what I didn't like was having to unlock these hinges and then slide it while you're sitting in the woods waiting on a turkey trying to hold your gun keep everything still all at the same time. So Ta-da! <laughs> the Primo's trigger stick. I've been using this for a couple seasons now, so let's review this thing. As always on Review This Thing, we cover the facts. The first part is fit. So in terms of fit, the first thing I want you to know is that there are two different sizes of the monopod trigger stick. This is the short, and it extends from 21 to 30 inches. The tall goes from 35 to 65. So that one's definitely meant more for standing shooting. Now, a small side note, I do find it a little bit annoying that there's that like five inch gap in the middle there, that this one stops at 30 and the other one doesn't start till 35 because this one is perfect for turkey hunting or for sitting on the ground hunting especially for me i'm 5'4 so this is basically the perfect size when you're on the ground i have had some difficulty though this stick isn't tall enough if i'm sitting in a blind chair i probably need to get the taller one however if this just was three inches taller it would probably be perfect so for me 5'4 pretty short legs sitting on the ground turkey hunting this is absolutely the perfect height however if you're a very much taller than me you may want to look more at that tall one the other thing i want to tell you is how big it is and how much it weighs. In a storage situation like this, from the top of the yoke to the bottom, it's about 23 and a half inches at its shortest. At the widest point, the handle is about four inches. The circumference of the grip is right at about five inches, which is actually a really good size to be able to hold it and still reach the trigger while you're sitting on the ground. I have pretty small hands and I'm able to get to it very easily. And this thing weighs barely more than a pound, so it's very lightweight, easy to carry in that respect. The only thing is if you're carrying it in a backpack or I was carrying it last year in a hunting vest, it's a bit awkward just because of how big this piece of it is. I think it's a pretty fair trade-off though. You can make it work. To me it's worth it to have the trigger versus having to fuss with those hinges on those other shooting sticks. So because it is a little bit bulkier I'm going to take a little bit off for that but like I mentioned I think it's worth it. And I do wish that it would fit that little middle ground so that I could use this for sitting in a chair as well as on the ground. So because of those two things I'm going to give fit a 4.2 out of 5. That was the Primo's trigger stick as advertised. The first thing they advertise is one hand use. You can definitely just reach up, pull the trigger, lift up to make it taller, let it relax to make it shorter. One thing I definitely want to point out here though is that most of the time whenever you're trying to adjust it, you're sitting on the ground with your rifle or shotgun already in it. You're going to want to push the trigger and then lift up on your gun and let the bottom just drop out. If you don't kind of pay attention to the weight of the firearm, then as soon as you push the trigger it's going to lower down. So you do still have to support it and lift it up as you squeeze the trigger to get it where you want. It. They also advertise an easy change yoke because they also have a camera attachment. You just flip the lock, press the button, and it pops right off. Pop it back on, close the lock, and then the button doesn't work so it's stable and it's not going anywhere. In that same regard, they also advertise easy panning. So this piece, even though it locks in and won't pop off, that yoke will still spin. So you can, with the stick in place, still spin on that axis and be able to move your point of aim. So is the Primo's trigger stick as advertised? I would say so. I've enjoyed having it a lot. Just easy to use, easy to adjust, and make sure you're as comfortable as possible while you're sitting there for however long you have to sit and have a good shot at the turkey coming in at you. So because of that, is it as advertised? Five out of five. Now onto construction and durability. There are a couple things in construction I just want to touch on because we've already mentioned them. One is that it is lightweight, so it's not heavy to carry around. The other thing, obviously, it's a trigger stick for a reason. I love that trigger functionality. Another cool aspect, I have this piece, but I haven't gotten to use it yet. There is an attachment where you just pop this bottom piece off and it screws into a flatter piece that you can use to rest in the floor of blind or rest in your tree stand. I'm very interested to see if the height of that gives me any leverage to make this taller or if to be able to use it in a stand and I'm going to have to get that tall stick. Whenever I figure that out, I'll put that down in the comments below too. As far as durability, I've had it for a couple turkey seasons. You know how it is. You're crawling, you're kind of tossing it ahead, climbing with it, falling out of your pack, falling out of your vest, and it still works just as well as it did when I first got it. So what score can I give construction and durability? This may not be very fair because I took off in fit as well because it's not quite as tall as I want it to be. I'm going to have to give it a 4.8 out of 5. Now on to testimonials and reviews. You can find thousands of reviews on this product. I just click on the ones and the twos and figure out
figure out what complaints people had so that you'll be aware. There were several, several complaints that whenever they hit this trigger stick, the bottom part just fell right off. Most people said it was an epoxy problem, a glue problem, and the pieces weren't sticking together. Thankfully, I haven't had that problem. It's worked very well. A couple other people said that it was noisy and wasn't smooth whenever it slid. Again, ours has worked well, so I'm grateful for that. We haven't had any issues there. A couple people said that it wouldn't stay locked in once they had it set at the height they wanted. I haven't had any issues with my gun on it, but I wanted to do a little test just to give it an extra oomph. So I just pushed down as hard as I could, and you can see here it didn't move. It didn't go anywhere. So a few people said to them it felt cheap. It's very lightweight, so it's not going to feel super heavy and durable. I definitely don't feel like the trigger component feels cheap, and this is just a lightweight metal. So a few people said they felt like theirs was noisy. I'm not having that problem. I wonder if they maybe got some uh, debris down in there or something, but mine is not very noisy at all. As always on testimonials and reviews, I gotta tell you the score we found. So this gets a 4.75 out of five. Now the final question, should you buy this thing? So as always, it just depends on what you're looking for. Now remember, this is not a stable platform, so you can't just put your shotgun or rifle in it and leave it and kind of walk off. I did a review on the Bog Field Pod, and that link will be below. If that's what you're looking for, then you can kind of check that out and see if that fits better for you. But if you're looking for something more run and gun style, you can just kind of grab it, go where you're going, sit down and have the platform to rest it on, and this may be what you're looking for. Remember again, I talked about there's two different sizes. If you're mainly doing your hunting or shooting from a sitting on the ground position, this is probably gonna be exactly what you're looking for. If you're a lot taller than me and or you're going to be using it mainly from a blind chair or from a tree stand, then you may want to look at that taller version and see if that may fit a little bit better. I have been very happy with it so far. It's a huge game changer for me whenever I'm just sitting there on the ground for however long it takes to hopefully wait for a turkey to come in. So I have really liked the Primo's trigger stick. This retails for $59.99, but as of the filming of this video, it was on Amazon for $45.77. Now, that does sound like a lot of money, especially when you know that the shooting stick I used to use. I think I paid like $10 for it. So this is obviously quite a bit more. I will throw in one more time. I do wish that it was a little taller just to fill that gap. But overall, I'm very pleased. Having the ease of use is tremendous. And I really like the stability of it and just how well it works for me. Because of that, totally worth it in my opinion. Should you buy this thing, 4.8 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Primo's Trigger Stick Monopod Gen 3 review video. While you're here, please take a few minutes and watch a whole bunch of other videos. If you like what we do, give us a like, share it, comment. If you really like what we do, do us a big favor and subscribe. Also, take your time and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram.